portal's close to open, but Dr. Magnuson sure will be in time to stop it. complete. Tracking beacon. Oh, there's another bit of cruft we can ignore. Support equipment powered down. Uh, hold on a moment, Kleiner. Ah, Freeman. Well, I see the Magnuson device performed flawlessly. I feel compelled to thank you personally for saving my rocket. So, um, thank you. <clears throat> well, that's enough chit-chat. I've got a rocket to launch. <laughs> wow. For a minute there, I thought Satellite you were going to get a hug. Powered and ready. Check, check, check. Let's go to the control room. We can get a great view of the launch from there. Did you do that? What? This one? Flight termination system? Check well, here we are again. Oh, that must be an ancient entry. There are no backup sites. If we fail, the best we can hope... While you were out having fun, I found an old helicopter that I was able to get working. I've got it all packed up and ready to go. Never a dull moment, huh? Wait a moment. I'm seeing a payload anomaly of approximately eight and a half pounds. Well, that's what that told us. Uh, certainly not worth scuttling. We're back! At last. Ah, oh, Gordon. Hell of a job you did out there, son. Uh, let's not forget that with the Magnuson device, those striders practically destroy themselves. Yes. Well, I think perhaps Gordon had something to do with their success. I suggest we adjourn this meeting of the Mutual Admiration Society until after we have launched our rocket. Now, I believe we're ready to start the auto sequence. I believe Gordon should have the honor. You'll hear no objection from me. It's all yours, Gordon. Well, you gonna push the button? to celebrate. We need to reach altitude and transmit the signal. Too right. The clock is ticking. We couldn't have cut it any closer if that was our intention. It is going to work, right? It has to. Once the rocket is in range of the portal, we'll be able to switch on the Xenium resonator. Well, let's get outside. I'd like a better view of the fireworks. There should be quite a show. Regrettably, I can't come out with you. Magnuson and I will need to keep a close eye on the rocket's trajectory. Aren't you going to see us off? Just as soon as this is wrapped up. I wouldn't dream of letting you go without a proper goodbye. Okay, I'll hold you to that. You too, Dr. Magnuson. Indeed. We'll catch up with you in a moment, sweetheart. Gordon, hold Dog, up Dog, there you are. The more I think about that warning from our friend, the more I'm convinced it has to do with Borealis. Don't be deceived. That ship must never be used. You have got to destroy it, whatever the cost. Where are you two? You're gonna miss it. Be right there, Alex. Gordon, thanks for everything you've done. For Alex, for all of us. I couldn't be prouder if you were my own son. Now when you get back, we've got a lot to talk about. Sure as hell did, and not a moment too soon. 
<laughs> I'll bet the Combine aren't too happy right now. You got that right, sweetheart. But we've got plenty to celebrate. I wish you didn't have to head off so soon. If only it weren't so critical. It's okay, Dad. We'll find Judith and bring her back. Dog? Hey, where are you? What a nut. Don't go too far. Well, there she is. Gassed up and ready to go. Remember to keep in constant contact. We have no idea what to expect. Don't worry, Dad. We'll be all right. I just wish all this didn't have to fall on you, Alex. Your mother would be so proud. Dad. Come on, Gordon. The chopper's waiting for us. Are you sure you have everything you need? I think so. Dr. Kleiner gave us the Borealis coordinates. We'll keep the hailing frequency open on the chopper radio in case Judith tries to reach us again. Good idea. She could well make another attempt. Oh, no. Dad! Gordon! Help! Ah! Dad! Alex! <clears throat> Oh my god! <laughs> 